the fly we're going to tie today is the clink hammer and uh, this one we're going to tie with CDC around the thorax here and then we're going to dub the abdomen and we're just going to use white calf tail for the wing post and uh, uh, blue dun and brown hackle for our hackle. Um, these are some some bigger clink hammer patterns. Uh, it's a nice hybrid between a emerger and a dry fly depending how low you sit in the water. Um, if you tie it smaller this is an 18 it becomes a nice midge. Uh, I think this is a 16 also becomes a nice midge pattern and if you uh, tie it <laughs> with a tail and on a normal eye down dry fly hook it, it just becomes a normal mayfly pattern parachute mayfly um, so uh, we'll tie the clink hammer today our focus today is, will be on that um, CDC around the thorax and then I'm going to show you uh, just how I tie the parachute uh, which it's I've, I've simplified it um, so it might make it easier for you uh, to tie a really good parachute uh, pattern. So today's fly is the clink hammer. Let's get started. Um, so we have this uh, size 10. I think this is a scud hook. Uh, shrimp caddis pupa hook. Uh, size 10. I'm just tying it size 10 because it's bigger. It'll be easier for you to see. The thread I'm going to use today is uh, white. It's quite thin. Not the. It's thinner than the the normal 140 I use. Um, I think this might be a 172. And I'm going to just wrap my shank uh, down down the curve, um, and then we're going to clip that. So. Uh, some CDC. I like the CDC because it, it gives it a nice natural taper. Um, it also is quite water resistant, uh, but you could dub it, you could use a quill. There's a variety of different uh, materials you could use for this part. Uh, but today we're just going to use CDC. So I, I, I caught the feather and now I'm just pulling it back. Uh, to a good point right about there and then I'll, I'll tie the rest of it in that's fine um, it's gonna get a haircut anyway so the CDC feathers tied in and we're gonna wrap it we first want to start wrapping it uh, just normally and then we are gonna use a pair of hackle pliers and we're gonna want to start spinning it but not a lot so we'll wrap it one time and now we're just gonna spin it one time and we want the fibers to catch on each other and we'll wrap again and we'll spin it one time wrap again spin it one time wrap again spin it one time wrap again hopefully we can make it to our desired point here spin it one time wrap again It's going to be close. Ooh, we lost it. That's okay. We can get it back. We got it back. All right. And there it is. Go ahead, tie that down, and then we'll cut it off. And 
now we're, we'll just trim trim this extra CDC and that's pretty pretty buggy looking uh, thorax all right that's pretty good uh, we're gonna go we want to do a post today's post we'll just do a natural calf tail um, in white but they have water resistant yarn that's also quite good uh, but today we're just going to tie a post in white which will is not so exciting but you can play around with different colors so I trimmed off some calf tail we don't necessarily need to worry about it being uh, the tips being lined up because it will also get a haircut and we're just going to trap it down and then we're going to want to come forward a couple wraps and then we're going to want to come back a couple wraps and you want to trap it down fairly tight because you don't want it to spin around the shank of the hook okay so we we want our post standing vertical so we're going to have to start wrapping around um, and you can just do this nice and easy you don't have to make it super tight nice and easy the tight wraps have to be around the shank of the hook couple more that should be good and as you see it's starting to come together like the post uh, we'll, we will wrap hackle around it so that would be nice go ahead and lock that post in even more that's good alright now we're going to tie in the hackle uh, for today's hackle we'll use one uh, medium blue done and then we'll use one We'll use one medium blue done and one brown uh, and that'll give it a nice color so here is our brown all right and to uh, prepare our hackle stems we're going to want to expose quite a bit of the quill so go ahead you can take your stem you can cut or you can just strip i find it's easier just to strip and we stripped it so quite a bit of the quill is exposed and we're just going to cut and so now we have our, both of our feathers with a, some quill exposed and we're going to tie it in um, you want to tie it in essentially we're going to we want our feathers to be standing vertical like our post so we'll tie a little bit the butt ends of the quills in and then we're going to start wrapping around and you don't have to do so many we already established a base but our feathers are now standing vertical with our post. It can be a little bit tricky. There we go. There we go. All right. That looks good. So our feathers are standing straight up. Our post is standing straight up. Um, we know what we're going to do with the feathers. We're going to parachute wrap it around the post. Just pick a, a, a natural brown dubbing. Um, and we're not going to dub it too heavy. But we do want to cover 
and create a bit of a, a bulge a bit of a bulge so we'll start wrapping Oops. Okay. So I'm wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Wrapping, wrapping. This is the abdomen. Um, so we we dubbed it, it we have a clear let's just put a little bit more we have clear segmentation we have the abdomen thinner than the thorax which is which is what we want all right Alright, so now we want to finish around the hook, or I'm, I'm sorry, we want, to f we want to finish around the post, um, and now we're going to rotate our hook a little bit sideways, okay, and so our thread is around up top. And we're gonna want we're gonna take our hackles, uh, and we're gonna just start wrapping them around our post. As tight, you want to do it as as tight as you can make it. As tight as you can make it. Wrap around again, <clears throat> and we'll we'll try to do maybe one more, and then I don't think we can fit any more material. And so I have our, I've I have our hackle here, I have our thread here, and then I want to just trap it. But you don't want to trap the other the fibers of the parachute. You just want to trap the hackle stems. Uh, so go around a couple times and you're confident you've trapped it you're going to let it go we can go ahead and trim it out okay and then we'll wrap a couple more times you don't want to trap the fibers once more and this now we're going to use our whip finish tool uh, this is your whip finisher. Uh, you, it allows you to to finish the fly, to tie a knot, uh, and you can kind of go around the material. So let out a little bit of material, a little bit of thread. Hit your whip, and we're just going to go around the base. But you, again, you don't want to trap the fibers of the hackle. So go around one time, two times, and then I usually like to to lock it in. And then I'm going to go again. To finish it off. Go one time. Two times. Three times. And then we'll, we'll lock it off there. Alright. Let's go ahead and cut our thread out and inspect our handiwork. Yeah, we didn't trap too many of the hackle fibers, which is nice. We still have some errant CDC. And you can go ahead and trim anything you don't like. Let's go ahead and trim our, our post down. That's good. Um, all right. And that, that's a, a pretty uh, standard fly 
And again, with the olive, abdomen, brown thorax. You could do peacock on the thorax and then uh, uh, like a gray on the abdomen. That's a very popular color combo. Um, the post you can change you know, orange, green, whatever helps you see. Uh, but you have nice separation of the materials and a good uh, parachute hackle wrap to keep it buoyant. So that's a uh, clink hammer, uh, popular dry fly these days. Uh, definitely one I think you should learn how to tie. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.